Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Monday and it is like a rest. Our weekends are so crazy sometimes. I haven't eaten. Yeah, we just got up. Why would you have already eaten? But yeah, life is crazy, you guys. It's so crazy. Oh, like, crazy. I don't we even know how we have time to we, eat. We need to be strict of where the shoes are, because this thing. Yeah, this thing is a shoe magnet. If you're missing a shoe, you just need to look in her bed, and then you will find them. Or where her mom piles them up. Yeah, she piles them. She's not just happy with one shoe. She's got to have a whole pile of shoes. All right, let's go. Whoa. Molly is all about her hula hoop. <laughs> here, Molly, bring it here. I'll throw it for you. Bring it here. Come on. Bring it here. Oh, we know what rocks are now, though. Come on. Molly, our border. Hey, bring it back here. Come here. Good girl. Wants you. Wait, wait, you're caught. Wait. Oh, okay. All right, this is a left handed throw. Oh. Molly wakes up raring to go every morning. I, think side of I was a border collie in my last life. Good job, Molly. And then there's Slowpoke Daisy Dew. Come here. What do you have in your room? This Just is let as her far run. As we ever get. Anyway, a good uh, morning to today. Today starts a crazy week you guys I haven't told you all the plans that we have this week because some of them are a surprise we have crazy things happening we Wait, have what are the surprises? oh I'll tell you when the camera's off we have a show again on Saturday our show this time is gonna be a show and go because the COVID rules have been slowly changing and so to accommodate it the show that we're going to this weekend you show up you show and then you go you don't stay and hang around Molly so we have that on Saturday, and then we have, oh man, do we have crazy things. Like, it's gonna be a crazy week. So basically, I cannot stand here talking to you guys anymore. Let's get moving. I hope you see the kittens today. Yes, Daisy. Daisy is such a funny little puppy. Isn't she a funny puppy? Uh-huh. She's such a funny girl. Yesterday, she fell backwards in the living room, and she cried for how long? Like, a couple minutes. Yeah, like, she cried and cried and cried. She was so upset that she got hurt. And then Ruby is actually hurt. Aren't you hurt, Ruby? See? Poor Ruby. <laughs> Ruby's a baby about it. Ruby, like, Ruby's never had, ne Ruby's never been a mom. She's never, she's young and she's like such a baby. She literally has a little tiny rub, which is why she's supposed to be staying home. I've not been down to clean out the barn in two whole days because of how busy we've been. And yeah, it's a mess. You made a mess. You made a huge mess. I know it was all you. It was all you. It was not you, was it? Oh, look at our ponies. Look at our cute ponies. Sam spends the most time with them on the weekends. Oh, the grain. See, I'm giving them grain and grain in so long. I thought they were that excited for hay. To be honest, um, Gabby comes down every morning. Like I don't, she wakes up, takes her dog out, comes down, does all the chores. Well, she doesn't clean up the poo, but she does like all the rest of the chores, which is awesome uh, because then I can get school started and house cleaning started. Uh, but today she needed a shower. So I said, hey, how about I go down? Oh, Ruby. Ruby, leave the cat alone. I want to see the cats today. You made her. Wait. Wait. Like, literally, I, literally, there's no spots to even feed you guys in here because of all the poo. So that's what I'm going to have to do. There you go. Let's grab the kittens. Okay, there's a kitten over there, and there's a kitten over there. The Hold trick this. is grabbing them. They don't like the dogs. That's the problem. When you have dogs and cats, get good boy. I want to show them their bed. See if they can fit in it. You're trying now. Girls are like more tricky. She's like, mm mm, you won't catch me. Sophie, your outfit is not matching, my love. My outfit is because. Wow, this cat's so white. He's not even heavy. Yeah, because of her. But look at, they're probably the same size. Here, hold. Oh, he's probably bigger. Yeah, like they're almost, yeah. All these bigger, but lighter. Oh, they make each other. Yeah. He's like, oh, it's, a, it's an animal that doesn't kill me. So we're going to see. We're going to show them their new bed. Can you get in there? Oh, see, yeah. it's, not, it's like bigger than their head. 
Yeah, put them in and then let's see if they can get out. Come on. Imagine we walk away, forget about her, and that out of him and he can't get out. Come on. Go, Ruby, go. Come on. You let my dog go for one minute. And she found a ribbon? Did she yes. chew it? Stay. Good girl. Stay. We're trying to, we're holding every. Hey, Molly. Molly. Get over here. Sit. Uh, we're trying to keep everybody out of that room. Molly! We're trying to keep everybody out of that room so that we can see if the cat will just come out on his own. See if he can fit. If he doesn't come out, then chances are he doesn't fit. Sit. Oh, I, I hear something. I heard something. Did you guys hear it? Let's see. I think he's still in there. He's gone. <laughs> so he can get out. Yeah. He just wasn't happy. He jumped up there. That's what I heard. We have to bring the dogs down because this is their form of exercise. It's coming down to the barn throughout the day and running around the property whenever we come out to do work and chores and all that stuff. I know how to so they have to come down, but the cats hate them. <laughs> Which I understand. My dog just jumps up here <laughs> because she saw Gabby's cat do it. So now she's like, I got this. Yeah, she's such a cutie. She doesn't know how to climb She's down. so little. She's like, it's the size of a kitten, which is crazy to me. Like, I think when people see her for real, they'll be shocked how small she is. Where did you find that? Yeah, we need to get, lose the hula hoop. Molly, no. All right, let's go. See, that's the good thing about Molly, too. She always has to have a job, but she finds her own jobs. She's a... Whoa. <laughs> she moves the heart away. You guys might not have seen that, but Molly just attacked Willow with a hula hoop. All right, here's some lunch. Here's some breakfast. I'll clean up your poo too, because I don't want you standing in poo, and it's supposed to rain. There you go. One pile. Two piles. Three piles. There you go. There you go, Gracie. You wanna go for a walk? I wanna take you for a walk. Yeah, such a good girl. Such a good girl. Summer is always kind of busy. Like, you always do a lot of stuff in summer. But what's really crazy is fall for us is our busiest season of life. It's when we do so much stuff that it just gets insane. Like, you guys are probably all the same, but it's just going to be her insane. Her one blue eyeball. It's already started. October and November and December are always crazy. Because October is my birthday, Mom. Yeah. Are you gonna be like dad and have a whole month? Yeah. Yeah. See all that poop? All right, you guys, let's do YouTube magic. Three, two, one, all clean. I cleaned in here, I cleaned out there, most of out there, there's still a bit in the back. Basically pulled a whole pile of poo out of the paddock. That's just two days worth, you guys, and there's still lots out there. Molly, you are obsessed with hula hoops. Comment below, what is your dog obsessed with? Ours is obsessed with hula hoops. Come on puppies, let's go up to the house and have breakfast. You haven't seen this lately. Look at our yard, like imagine if our horses were here now. Look how beautiful you guys, it's just gorgeous. Gorgeous, it's way more gorgeous in real life. Look, school bus. Speaking of school, I always tell you, be yourself and that is the only way you are gonna fit in this world. And people are like, Laura, you always tell me to find my people, but I'm stuck in school. How am I gonna find my people? Well, I will tell you exactly how to find your people. This is what you have to do. Find what you love, find what makes you happy, and then go out there and do that. Go out there and do it. So if you like skateboarding, go to the skate park. If you like horseback riding, go to the barn. If you like science and technology, go to that kind of a school. Like. Go where you like. Go and do the things that you like and all the people that are meant for you will just follow. You'll just find each other. So that is your only job in life, you guys. Well, that's not your only job, but one of your big jobs in life is to fulfill your own desires. Just fulfill your own desires and it will lead you to all the people that are meant to be with you. Go out there and do the things that you love. And another thing, if you wanna be super successful and rich and have the best life, then you need to go out there and do the things that you love. That's it, you don't have to like, there's no get rich quick schemes, there's no, go out there and do what you like because if you're doing what you like, you will excel at it, you will love it, you will go further, you will push yourself, you will, you will 
do more and that is how you get successful and that's how you get successful and it will be natural and it will feel amazing and you'll never be burnt out you'll never be stressed out and you'll be successful those are my two tips for today go out there and do the things you love find your people go out there do the things that you love get rich that's it you guys the secret of life all right this is what doggy daycare looks like you guys we have them gated into the kitchen molly's or daisy's got a little potato sweet potato bone thing and uh, molly's waiting for the toy so watch so it? annoying <laughs> so he's taking the toys out of them do it yeah over oh, here, the girls are more annoying. Over here, the girls are trying to do schoolwork. Stop. Daisy does not like toys, which you'd think wouldn't be that big of a deal, except she for everything else. Oh, I know it's really annoying. She's got herself her little chewy thing though, and Molly tried to take it away from her, and Daisy said no and turned around. Because Molly bites her for playing with the toys. No. Molly. They have to get used to each other, Sophie, under supervised visitation. All right. So the girls are doing homeschool. This is what it looks like today. Super, super messy because. There are toys still on the table. You guys should know. Yeah, I believe that kids should be able to play with toys. And if your house is a mess until they're done the toy stage, then your house is a mess. And that just has to be what happens in life. If you missed it yesterday, if you missed it yesterday, Sophie got the. Molly has never seen fall leaves like when you break them up. Hospital. She got the Schleich Hospital. Yeah, well, oh my gosh, we'll have to rake leaves this year and throw the puppies into it. We've done that before with other dogs. Daisy will love them. Yeah, they will but love them. Wow, he's got a broken a leg. Oh, that's a broken leg? No. No, it's a hurt leg. A hurt leg? A Dalmatian puppy, that's why she wanted the whole thing because it came with a Dalmatian puppy. Okay, so I agree to playing, but push it all back, Sophie, because you can't. Come into my workspace. Oh, good lord. Okay, there's no playing during school. That's my big point here. Yeah, I, I had it all set up, and then you come along and push it all back. Yeah, uh, parent problems, teacher problems. Abby, you finished her book today. What book was it? Last night. Last night, so she does her book report today. What uh, book did you read? Chosen. Chosen. Rate it five stars. Out of five stars, what three. would you? Three stars. Would you? So it's a series. Are you going to read the rest of the series? No. no, she did not love it. So she's going to write a book report today. How far are you in your book packs? Uh, more than halfway. More than halfway. Yeah. So I am going to give you guys about 15 more minutes to finish up your morning stuff, and then we're going to meet for a morning meeting. Okay. What do we have to do in morning meeting? We do our reading. It's only reading. And our any lessons that we're doing, which will be I, geography, maps. No, I don't get to do that because I have to write a book report. Yeah, it takes Gabby five years to write a book report. She thinks writing a book report is a novel. No. She, she, has, to explain. she has to explain. No, it's hard to explain. Without a lot of words. You're just like me. What self-respecting dog would not want to want would not want to walk down to the barn? What dog do you think would not want to go down to the barn? Watch this. Watch what happens. See if she does it. Okay, she's doing good. Basically, that puppy, that puppy is so lazy. Like, she doesn't want to go to the barn. Uh-oh. <laughs> she's a climbing puppy. All right, come on puppies. Let's go feed these puppies. Are you a puppy? Come on, Ruby. Come on. Are you coming? Oh my goodness. I do not know what to do here with three puppies. All right, you stay there for a sec. Don't run back to the house. Okay, so I know the puppy can hear. Not only can she hear, but she knows her name. Like she totally knows her name. So she obviously can hear, like it's clear to me. But if I wasn't so sure that she could hear, wait. Too much fell. Hold on there, little Miss Gracie. Let's take, wait a minute, I did this all wrong. I cannot vlog and feed. I like to have a lot of piles. I've already told you guys that a million times. Even if the piles are so tiny. Uh-oh, puppy's going back to the house. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on, Ruby, you're getting stuck. Come on, hurry up. Hurry. 
<laughs> She's hop along Cassidy there. Oh my gosh, so he's gonna kill me. I knew she'd do it. I tried to show you. Puppy, come back. That's why I have the leash on her. Come on. Oh, she scares me. Come on. Oh, she's going for it. Oh my gosh. Ruby to the rescue. Ruby is hurting. Bring her back, Ruby. Molly, Molly, hurt the puppy. Oh my God. Get the puppy. <laughs> Oh my gosh. We just worry about the road. Puppy. <laughs> I'm about to get there. <laughs> oh. Saved at the very last second. It's okay. Oh, what do you have? Oh my gosh. Is this what this was all about? She got horse poop. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> You got horse poop and came all the way up to the house. Look at that poop. horse poop is bigger than her head. Get away from it. That's gross. That's gross. Horse poop is gross. <laughs> Only one egg today. Who's not laying? Who's not pulling their weight? Uh oh, where'd the puppy? I do not know how good chicken poop and puppies mix. So let's go. Let's go, little lazy girl. Finally found herself a friend. Somebody her side. We love how clean it is. So basically this is it. This is our new locker. We have some work to do. We're gonna take those things out and unpack them. We're gonna get um, some. So I have my other brushes. We love that we have it's girth right spots to hang up your girth so when it's all sweaty, you don't have to get your saddle ruined. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's amazing. We got carrots up there. Saddle thing here. You should move this under here so that we have he has room to put this here. Yeah, we need one more saddle hook. And he's gonna have to move that one and put it there and there so it's directly underneath. All right, grab a couple of carrots so we can give them to our horses. This is honestly the nicest locker we've ever had at any barn. I know. We, it. we brought some hooks. We're gonna hook up more hooks. We can walk into it. We can actually walk into oh. it. All right, so after the show, we forgot to put the horses' bell boots on, which is bad news. All right, so where do you think our horses are today? I'm walking. I think they're right here. I think they're I think here. They're in the woods area where they're oh in the man. Not a horse in sight. Seriously, I have no idea why I'm carrying a purse in the paddock. That's so stupid. Look at me though. I have carrots in my pocket, phone in my pocket. Do not put everything. carrots in your pocket in the paddock. I have hot carrots in my pocket. So it was so hot today. Like 26 degrees. Can and then Oh, she forgot her halter. You did too. I'm not riding today. <laughs> So two new horses came on the weekend on Sunday, and so they're probably hanging out with them. Yeah, and they got to be friends with our horse. Oh, wait till you see this! What a great place to take pictures. Nope. Why? We're not taking photos. Don't <laughs> trip over that. Don't die. Sophie, why did you do that? Flung that branch in my face. Uh oh, uh oh, they all come. Oh gosh. Oh, they heard us. So, our horses are friends with the new horses. And we're clearly showing them around. And they all are getting along. Like, we just created our own little herd here. Five new horses. Five horses. We've got a five herd horse. This cut's looking really good. Well, hello there, handsome. Check their feet. Oh, good. It's Chino I'm worried about. Oh, don't say those words. Chino has one. So if he's running. Yes, no! <laughs> oh, gosh. It's getting crazy. Hi, Cat. 
fix this? I need to lift up. Yes, yes, too. All right, put the things on them. You have to help. Like, <laughs> hold this. Okay. Hold this. <laughs> okay. You guys, some of you guys might know these extra new horses. That one right there. And this I one right here. Watch yourself, Gabby. You're in the middle of a bunch of horses. I wonder who's the boss, Storm or Oakland? They're probably best friends. So there's a bet to see who will be the boss. Because this one's bossy and this one's bossy. No, that one's the boss of the other one. This is the boss of his herd. This is the boss of our herd. So but they're staying hard. together. They're hanging out together. So boy. proud of you boys. Oakley. Like nothing better than your horse. Whoa. Yeah, don't bite. He saw, me, he saw me give Finn a carrot. Don't be giving any horses carrots in front of other horses. That's what causes a war. Yeah, the horses are like, okay, you guys are just messing around. We're going for food. Can I have my phone? Yeah, you take your phone. Storm, uh, Chino and Finny are leaving. Yeah, they know where to go. Storm's staying. They're following us. I love how Sophie pushes me behind. The old one. Anyways, uh, oh, they're still coming. His mane is to the right. Yay, Chino! You kept your shoes on. You tamed your mane to the right. You won champion. You're a champion. How many times? So you've had Chino. You've been. You've only been able to ride Chino for like. Look at his curls. For like four months or something. How many champions have you won on him? Um, four months since we've owned him. No, seven months since we've owned him. Oh. Wait. We owned him for eight months, and he was off for three. So eight, seven, six, five. So in five months, how many champions have you won on him? Um, three. Wow, how many champions have you won in your whole life? Four. Wow. Three of them were from Chino. Yeah. One of them was from Storm. Wow. The storm would not go at all, so yeah. Aw, such a good boy. Anyway, so the reason we're here it's because we like to see our horses every day and we like to ride them and stuff, but Gabby is planned to ride with her friends. Kaylee lives the closest and she's the late she's the only late one. We should text her and see what horse she's gonna ride and we can bring him in. You guys saw how good uh, Chino rode in the show in the hack division. A lot of it's probably because he's finally built up like some muscle. So imagine how much better he's gonna get. Like that's just crazy. Everybody's gonna ask, why aren't you riding? Because I only have one sock on. <laughs> Good excuse. No. She has a no cut. Sock? What, or do you have a cut? No. I stepped in water, Shannon. Oh, know. tell them how many times your puppy has peed in the house. Not that much. No, the first day and then never again since the first day. How many times has she pooped in the house? Never. I know. She's such a good puppy. She doesn't like to go outside, doesn't like to do anything, but she's a good puppy. She sleeps all day. I know. I'm not sure if the food that we have her on, like the breeder gave us, is good for her. Like she's got no energy. Like she sleeps for hours and it's just craziness. Look at Chino going. He's like, I know it's supper time and I'm going to get the heck. I'm going to finish this. I feel like he does that though. He's like, let's rush through this so I can get to my supper. It's just flying. So we have the three girls and they're gonna have a quick ride in the arena and then they're gonna go on a trail and then it's gonna be dark and then we're gonna be worried about them. No, just joking. Then we're gonna go home and relax until tomorrow. He's like changed so much, huh? I know he wants to eat. He's like leaning for food. I've seen those faces, I've heard all the lies, but you ain't gazing on someone in denial, cause you want dollar bills right now, but you gotta work real hard, I know you want it to be easy, so let your guard